The first new Intellivision Amico home game of the year is here, and it is Cornhole. Let's get into it. So, this is a game based on the popular sport of the same name. Cornhole. Cornhole. And look, when I say a popular sport, I'm not sure that it's that popular. But after seeing previews of this game ages ago, I looked it up and found out that, yes, the internet provided me the truth that cornhole is an actual sport. And yes, now I follow the American Cornhole League's X account. For those of you who don't know the sport, cornhole is based around throwing a beanbag into a hole in a wooden board. I'm not sure exactly why it's called cornhole, but my guess is it has to do with the hole that you throw the beanbag into being the size of the circumference of a corn cob or that the board you're throwing the bag into is from a box of corn. It's got to be one of these reasons, because otherwise it's just going to get far too filthy to talk about. Now, I'm not sure I know, and I'm not sure I need to know, but what I do know is that Cornhole for the Intellivision Amico is finally here. So if you have the Intellivision Amico app, on your Fire tablet or your Android device or whatever else it's available on now and I'm sure it will be available on iOS sooner rather than later probably already on there by the time you're watching this video if you're seeing it in the hopefully not too distant future then you'll be able to download and play Cornhole who knows perhaps you're watching this within the time frame where people are able to enjoy Cornhole on their Intellivision Amico home consoles one can dream and we're going to stay positive now as it is i was one of the very first 10 people to download cornhole now when i say this it may just be on the google play store for the uk or europe or maybe it's within the world but i've got in there pretty quick so i'll get to the point here I haven't had as much fun with this game as I was expecting, and I genuinely was expecting this to be just some silly fun. Of all of the crazy Amico games that were announced, this seemed like it would be one of the stupidest fun games that you could get, and I absolutely do say that as a positive. Instead, it has some real learning curve to start having success with, and it also feels like a huge dollop of luck is needed. The game is the second of the Amico games to be played with motion controls after Dart Frenzy released at the end of last year. Whilst I was able to get used to the controls of that game and start having success winning, I can say that although I started winning some on Cornhole, I was playing an hour without getting a single beanbag in the hole. So it was frustrating to see my, my opponent keep getting Cornhole and alas, I was not. The game is actually quite awkward to play with a mobile phone. It asks you if you're playing with a lanyard, and I assume it won't let you play if you say no. That's what it was like on Dart Frenzy anyway. I'm sure this would be easier to play with an actual Amico controller where you are attached to it via a lanyard, but my large iPhone Pro Max was unwieldy to hold and press the touchscreen button while swinging for a shot. See, the thing is, you have to swing your arm backwards and then forwards and release a button as you swing forwards. So I can imagine that this is a game where you absolutely do ideally need a lanyard as you're going to accidentally just release the whole thing. The idea is that you hold down the on-screen button as you swing your arm backwards and then release the button as you swing your arm forward. I'm not really sure how the aiming works as you seem to be able to do that with other buttons on the touch screen. The spot you're aiming for and the angle for the shot can be lined up and then your physical arm swing just seems to be for the power of the shot. Maybe? I, I'm not entirely sure because it didn't feel like the way I threw it was actually an aim. But then sometimes it felt like I was doing better and sometimes it felt like it was doing worse. The game seriously needs to start with a proper tutorial mode. I ended up watching a video of some dude with his two kids playing and mostly failing to get the beanbag in the hole. They were having some success and to be honest since they were clearly playing with an actual Intellivision Amico, I think they probably had this either for a while or they're somewhat 
within the circle of trust to get the insight and lowdown on how to be successful at this game. I can say that with some determination, I felt like I was getting better, and maybe that's the point. It does feel a little bit frustrating to constantly miss when you first play, but I guess if you could easily get the bag in the hole, there would be no challenge to the game at all. After all, when you boil it down, the whole game is based around a single swinging action. So in that sense, yeah, I get that darts is like that as well, but you might be going for different areas of the board and how to refine your shot, but it feels pretty much like you're just aiming for the hole and that's it. So if you know how to perfect it once on this game, in theory, you could do it every single time. As a sport, it then obviously in the real world will have that you need to keep consistent with your aim. But to me, it felt like a little bit of a superficial kind of sport in that sense and no disrespect to people that like the sport but it gave me a vibe of power slap it's just about the one swing and if you can nail it every time just keep repeating now i don't know the actual sport of cornhole all that well but it feels like the way it's scored is that you get three points for getting the bag in the hole and one point for getting it to land on the board i feel like there would be more challenge or variety to the game if you could score more points for being close to the hole or getting combos or something like that. Outside of that, the graphics are colorful, but truthfully, they were a little bit low res looking. It will zoom in to show you where your shot has gone and it gives you the sense that this is 3D, but uh, 3D graphics, I mean, but for the most part, you're just seeing like a still image of the location you're at. Now that's just because you don't really do much to change the camera angle unless you're trying to give a little bit of aim to it and that's kind of it so you're in a garden or you're somewhere else or a beach one thing i'll say for this is there are a lot of different locations and there are a lot of different things that you can play through and unlock there's the american league the uk league it might in fact have a league for every country in the world so I feel like it's a game that I don't think I'm going to play all the way through to unlock and play every single league. There might have been something that popped up about something like this is unlocked when I achieved something. So I don't know if there is some kind of achievements in the game. But it's something I might come back to and review a second time once I've played it a bit more here and there. But truthfully, I don't think this is the best game on the Amico. So far for me, something like Shark Shark or Astro Smash is a much better showcase of the Amico home console concept. And yeah, I'm just glad that more stuff is coming out into the Amico ecosystem and that I look forward to what we've got coming up next. I think Finnegan Fox is going to be on the way soon. So we've all got that to look forward to. So that is going to wrap things up for this review of Cornhole for the Intellivision Amico Home app. If you are a fan of the sport, I'm sure you'll get some fun out of this. I'm going to say that it's okay once you put some time in. I was expecting just because it's based on such a simple idea of a sport that it would be simple and silly fun to get into. But there definitely is a little bit of a learning curve. Either that or maybe I was just terrible. So that is going to wrap things up for this review. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash that subscribe button here on the Geek Battle Gaming YouTube channel and check out the written article review version of this discussion over at www.extremed.tv forward slash gaming. And with that, from me, from everyone else, enjoy Cornhole and always stay extreme. Ciao for now. Boom. And we're off the air.